friends, it's Christy, and I'm so excited to be back with you at My Favorite Things. Today, I'm going to be making a card using the adorable new Kangaroo Crew. I think this set is just so cute. And I've also added in a few accessory images from Bertie Brown's Birthday, since I'll be making a birthday card. I've stamped my images out in black licorice hybrid ink, and I'm coloring with my Copic markers today. I'm starting with the kangaroo on the far left, and I'm using E11, E13, E15, and E17. I'm actually just going to color one of these on screen to save some time, but I'll be coloring them both exactly the same. So I laid in my shadows with that E17, and now I'm pulling that color forward with the E15. And I'm using four colors today so I can get some really nice contrast. And I think this reddish brown combination is perfect for these kangaroos. It totally reminds me of the color of Rue from Winnie the Pooh. So I'm taking that E13 now and filling in his ears and his legs and tail, but I'm going to save a little bit of room on his face and paws and tummy for that E11. So once I have that all laid in and I put a little shadow under his t-shirt, I'm going to come in with that E11 and fill in any spots that remain on his body. The next combo that I'm using is RV13, RV14, and RV17, and I'll be using that for the cupcake frosting and the insides of the kangaroo's ears. For the larger kangaroo's t-shirt, I'm using BG45 and BG49, laying in the shadows on both sides of his body and under his arms with that BG49, and then filling in with the BG45. And the other kangaroo is going to get an orange t-shirt using YR04, YR07, and YR09. And you'll notice that I'm coloring some of the accessory images off screen, again, just to save time so the video doesn't get too long. And I'm also doing my coloring pretty gender neutral today, so this card could be given to either a boy or a girl. I wanted a bright, happy yellow balloon, so I'm using Y11, Y13, Y15, and Y17. I'm adding a dark shadow on the right-hand side with the Y17 and then pulling that color out a little bit with the Y15 and also bringing it down over on the left. But I'm leaving a little bit of a rim light around the outside edge for the Y13. And then I'll also use that to fill in most of the center of the balloon and then finishing with the Y11 for the highlight. For the tree trunks, I'm using E55 and E57. These limbs are really skinny, so I'm just adding a little bit of the darker color here and there and then filling in with the E55, and that's going to give it a little bit more of a rustic look as those two colors blend in that small space. For the leaves, I'm using YG00 and YG05. I'm adding the darker color on the inside edge of each of the leaves towards the branches and then using the YG00 towards the outside edge where it would catch the most light. To finish up my images, I'm going to take a black gel pen and add a little bit of darkness to the eyes just to emphasize those. And then I will grab a white gel pen and I'm going to add a few little shine marks to the balloon and the ribbon on the gift and the um, frosting of the cupcake and the cherry on top. And then I'll trim these out with the matching dies. For my background, I'm taking a piece of Bristol Smooth Surface cardstock and the cloud stencil, and I'm going to sponge on some tumbled glass distress ink. And then I can shift that cloud stencil and turn it in a different direction and get a different pattern and then sponge on another row of clouds. So I'm going to continue doing this until I have enough rows that I feel like um, it looks the way I want it. And then I will move on to the grass. And for that, I've switched to the Drifts and Hills stencil and some Mode Lawn Distress ink. 
So this is going to be the highest hill, so I wanted it to be darker. So that's why I started with the darker of the two shades of ink that I'm using. And then just like the cloud stencil, I can flip over that uh, Drifts and Hills stencil and get a different look. I'm going to add a little bit more of that mode Lawn and then switch to Twisted Citron to brighten that up on the bottom layer. Now, I did notice that I accidentally got a little bit of green up in my cloud area um, as I was switching to a different layer. So I just wiped that off with a little bit of a baby wipe and then most of that is going to get uh, trimmed off anyway. So I'm using the A2 rectangle frames and I just justified that to the top right corner and it trimmed off that little bit of green ink. So now it's time to adhere my images, but before I glue those down permanently, I just want to lay them out and figure out my placement. I want to make sure that I'm spreading my color across the scene. So if I've got the yellow balloon over on the right, I'm going to put the yellow gift over on the left. And the same with the aqua blue, since I've got the kangaroo with the blue t-shirt on the left. I'm going to put the cupcake with the blue liner over on the right. So that's just going to spread that color around. Also the gift on the left hand side has the orange ribbon which matches the kangaroo's t-shirt that's on the right. So I just like to spread my color around so you get nice little pops of it here and there across the card. So to adhere my balloon, I'm going to use my little uh, kangaroo with the orange t-shirt as a placeholder so that I can get it just where I want it. But before I adhere that kangaroo, I'm actually going to pop that panel into my Misty and I'm going to stamp out these little jump marks that were included in the set along with the sentiment that says hop hop hooray. So I double stamped the sentiment to make it a little bit darker, but I just stamped the hop mark once, so that would be a little bit lighter. Then I can go ahead and adhere my kangaroo in place so that it looks like he's hopping into the scene, and then I'll add a dab of glue right next to his hand and adhere the little cupcake right there. Then I'm going to set this panel aside and pop my card base into my Misty so that I can stamp an additional greeting and a couple more images on the inside. I always like to finish off my cards this way. I just think it brings a little bit of the fun to the inside. So I'm using a sentiment from that Birdie Brown birthday set that says, wishing you a birthday spent with your favorite people. And then the um, turtle was also from that set. I'm going to toss the outside frame and replace that with one using Peach Bellini cardstock so that will match my card base. And I'm going to take a little bit of used post-it tape. This was used when I die cut the images with the matching dies. And I'm going to adhere that frame down from the back side and no one will ever know that it's there except you guys. So then I can set that aside and add my pattern paper. And that is from the Sweet Celebration 6x6. I thought this pretty plaid uh, really went well with the images that we colored today. And I trimmed that out using the A2 Stitch Rectangle Stacks Set 2. So it has just that little bit of border with the cardstock showing through. I've added some foam tape to the back of my focal panel. So I'm going to peel off the release papers and then I'll line that up in the center of my card and pop that down into place. Just making sure that it's lined up perfectly straight before I press that down firmly. And that is going to complete our card for today. I'll lift that up so you can see it in better detail and give you another peek at the inside. I hope you guys have enjoyed the May edition of Christy Gets Crafty with My Favorite Things. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and you can leave me a comment down below. I love reading your feedback. Subscribe to My Favorite Things for more inspiring videos just like these here on screen. Bye-bye!